Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And today we're going to be finding our... Or we're going to be trying to find our Loftwing. I have never played this game before, like I said, so... I don't know if we'll actually be able to today, but we will try. So let's... Oh. Let's just continue to look around Skyloft. Let's see the graveyard. Let's just look around. We don't need to save, I don't think. Actually, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright. Now that that's done, we can continue searching. So, now we did overhear Groose talking about... And it sound talking with his buddies, and it sounded like he stole our crimson loftwing. And so I wonder where he could have put them, him. What's up, Luke? You seem to be in a hurry. What's this about your bird? Oh, that unusual crimson loftwing. Have I seen him? I'm sorry, I haven't. Why don't you go looking for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. The statue of the goddess is that huge statue in the north of Skyloft. You've been there, right? Head toward the place with the X mark. Can't miss it. Alright, that's good. We were just there. So. Wait a minute. Is there like a mission log? Huh. Okay. That's fine. I guess. Um... Let's just, because we were supposed to tell Instructor Horward to come, or is it, is that his name, Instructor Horward? Or is it something else? Oh well, that's okay. I believe he was over here, wasn't he? Maybe we already told him. Maybe it just didn't, I don't know. Hey, Luke. Over here. I have some information about your loft ring. Come over here. Oh, how does he have information about my Loftwing? Actually, he seemed like a pretty nice guy when we met him, so... Hopefully he has nothing to do with his capture. Hey, Luke, I was just looking for you. I heard your Loftwing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Fledge, I'm so sorry, Luke. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, oops, Groose and I did not. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Luke, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your, capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it, right there. I think it means the, the waterfall marked here with the X. Okay, that's good to know. Forgive me, Luke. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Alright, well, now we know where the bird is. One more thing, Luke. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the knight commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should ask him if you can borrow one. Alright, we'll go do that. All right. Aegis. Hey, it's Luke. So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while. So if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Let's see the back room probably means. All right.
You got a practice sword. Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press plus at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Alright, so if we press plus, you can see that we have our practice sword on us. And actually, let me go amiibo. You'll be able to use amiibo accessories in this game after you make some additional progress. Please wait until then. Alright, I wonder because there's the exclude or the scout or the Zelda and Loftwing amiibo. That obviously is a thing, but I'm just wondering. I'm gonna look if we can get or if we can use any other amiibos to do anything. But let's see. Camera speed. Screen display. Okay. I thought it would be like show us some other stuff. That's okay. So let's come right here. Alright, swing your sword. Flick R in the direction you want to swing your sword. Press R to thrust your sword. Flick R quickly left, right, and then left for a horizontal spin attack. Oh, nice. Alright. And up, down, and up for vertical spin attack. Nice, okay. So. Nice. Let's see. Let's just talk to him. Oh yeah? You want to learn about how to use a sword? Sure. Yes, please. Okay, so the basics of swordsmanship. It's important to think about the direction you're swinging your sword. If you swing it vertically, you'll do a vertical slash, and if you swing it sideways, you'll do a side slash. Thrust it forward to do a thrust. Next, there's a more advanced technique, the spin attack. It's the perfect move for when you're surrounded by enemies. If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press ZL to target an enemy as soon as you see it. Try getting in some good practice on those logs. If you forget how to swing your sword, you can always check the help with right on the deep end. Don't ever forget your fundamentals. Once you've sliced up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try out your big move. Okay. Alright, yeah, so now... Alright. Let's just a thrust there. Okay, I don't think we can break that one. Alright. That's right, Luke. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Okay. Great, now I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Alright, nice. Good one. That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Sure, I want to learn about a fatal blow. Alright, when your enemy is down, target it with ZL and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. Oh, okay. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you use a, your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to land that fatal blow quick before they get up. Alright, so. Oh, we are, are all out of stamina. Alright, let's. Hey, Luke. You can't take, a, take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loft ring is missing. You want to go look for it? 
Well, I guess I can make an exception, just this once. But I remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. Oh, but remember, okay. So I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on those logs, these log, logs first. And once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Alright, well, we've got some good practice. Oh. Okay. So that's what happens if we... Let's see what this one is. Oh, I guess not. Alright, let's see just what our spin attack. Alright, so I think our fatal blow we can only use if we're targeting an enemy. But, that's okay. Alright. Let's get going. Alright. So, if we go over to the waterfall. That is... Let's come over here. So far, I'm liking this game quite a bit. I'm pretty impressed with it, actually, so... That's good. Now let's... Okay. What was that on the map? Or, oh, just a bird statue, okay. Alright, dang it. I always accidentally keep bringing my sword out, but that's okay. Alright, let's see. Where do we need to go? I think we need to go... Okay, yeah, right there. So that means across this bridge. Alright, let's see what these people are doing on the bridge. Did you hear the news? One of the students in the wing ceremony has lost his bird. It's gone missing. Oh, really? That's terrible. To tell the truth, I'm not comfortable around birds. It's their talons. They look so sharp and painful. Hmm. So these guys are kind of just... Can we swim? Oh, nice, we can. Can we dive? Okay, I don't think we can dive. But it looked like we had like a blue sort of stamina wheel that looked like an air thing. So maybe we can go underwater sometime. But maybe not now. Alright, yeah, it's just over here the waterfall is. So let's make our way over there. Alright. We're on dry land. Alright. What is this right here? That. Oh, now I can cut wild, or just grass. Oh, I found one ruby. Alright, so... Let's move forward. Alright, so we can't go up from here, I don't believe at least. Okay, so let's try swimming around over here. Um, let's see. Maybe we can come over here and then hop on those platforms and get over to the waterfall that way let's try that all right so first let's just cut down this grass oh pick up oh what if we put it in this hole oh i guess we can't do that all right let's Keep going. Oh, okay. Alright, we made it here. Let's continue. Oh, it looks like this is blocked. But it looks like our loft ring could be in. Oh, there it is. 
Waterfall Cave. Beware of blood-sucking monsters. No kids allowed. Alright, well, looks like we're going to have to... We're going to have to make our way through here. Alright. Waterfall Cave. Alright, that was pretty quick. Those, I believe they were keys, unless they have a different name in this game. Oh. Alright. Let's see, because I don't really think, yeah, at least we have like a navy sort of thing that tells us what stuff is, but that's okay. Alright, where could, oh, it continues on. Oh, let's see, how did we do the fatal flit, or the fatal move? I want to try that again. Oh, it looks like we can't run up that. Actually, can we just run up it? Okay, there we go. Alright. I wonder how deep this cave is. Okay, so... That's nice that it gives us a map inside the cave. Looks like there's something up here. Maybe there's... So there's a chest? Is that what this is? Yeah. Alright, just another red ruby. Alright. Oh, we got a heart. Hmm... Okay, I think we have everything we need right now. Um, so I guess we just have to make it down there. Let's get there quickly so our laughing doesn't have to wait any longer. Oh, dang. That was a pretty tall jump. I was surprised we made that. Right, oh. Let's kill all those guys. So you know, we now have 50 rubies. Hopefully we... We can use those for things later. Alright, nice. This kind of reminds me of those holes from um, Ocarina of Time that you'd have to be a young Link to go through. But, alright, let's come over here. Right, we have a bird statue, so we can save, but... We haven't found their loft wing yet. Hmm. Oh, it looks like... Oh, Luke! Hey, Luke, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who... who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh. Sorry, Luke. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Alright, so believe maybe just around this corner let's check look there he is uh oh no doubt about it that's your loft wing luke oh let's free him real quick all right you're free buddy Good boy. All 
No. He wasn't supposed to leave us. We should hurry, Luke. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? No. It's been happening a, happening a lot lately. It's the strangest th feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place. Or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. And their loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday I want to see them for myself. Oh, sorry, Luke. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if I have to press down during this cutscene or not, but... Oh, yep. Let's whistle. There we go. Alright. Luke, let's run your bird through the basics, just to make sure he's not hurt. You can even you can fly your bird in any direction. When it's headed upwards, upward, it'll slowly lose speed. When you want to speed up, direct your bird upward to gain altitude, then drop into a fast dive. So again, gain some altitude, then dive to speed up. Those are the basics of getting your bird to the t up to top speed. So how's he handling? Do you think he's flying all right? Alright, I think he's handling pretty well. While well, riding your loft ring, you can press right at any time to go over the basic controls again. You can also charge, which is an attack that gives you a burst of speed, as well as slow down when you need to. Try all, try all these moves and see how they feel. So, to charge is X. Alright. Alright, so there's slowing down. And it looks like to the right, maybe, or to the left. Okay. No, I'm not sure what that little meter is. It looks like it's an altitude meter that just shows how high up we are, but I'm not sure. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Luke, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your bird, so let's go give them the good news. Your loft ring really is amazing, especially considering the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. Uh oh, if it isn't our buddy Groose. Well, well, if it isn't Luke. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race pre warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and, the, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment? You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. 
I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug look. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Groose has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. Der, her, her. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. Duh ha ha. Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can. I can see it. Duh. Duh ha 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 ha. Oh yeah. Groose! Psst! Groose! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... Yeah. Care to explain what you just meant? What? Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just... Luke, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Groose, wait up. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Luke. Just go, just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Yeah. That's the spirit, Luke. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participants, participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Luke. All right. So all we have to do is win this race. That shouldn't be too hard. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Luke, but luckily that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting line and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. Those are the rules, simple enough, I should think, but do you need to hear them again? Nope. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift, high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by the lovely Zelda. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a, see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. 
All right. Go. All right. We got off to a pretty fast start. Now, I'm a little concerned that the only other people in this race are Groose and his gang. That might mean trouble for us, but we will just have to deal with that. Let's just dive to get some speed like we learned. Oh, dang, we got it pretty quick, I think. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with an with egg on your face. Uh-oh. Were none of the... What do you call it? The instructors watching? Because that... That didn't look clean at all to me. Anyways... Oh, I thought we had it. Oh, well. Alright, let's come back in for another... Let's come back in for another run. Oh, man, I think I just about lost it. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Hopefully we can get it before the other... Guy does. It seems all alone. We should probably get down to its altitude. Alright, there we go. Now I have a better chance at grabbing it. Oh! I thought I was gonna get it, but I guess not. Alright. Come on. Please? Alright. We got it this time. Oh, come on. Just grab it already. Alright, there we go. You got the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Alright, we got it. Luke. Or, Luke. Uh-oh. I wonder what happened to her loft wing. Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Luke. Congratulations. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. Oh, there's a statue. Luke, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Great Goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways, I must I now bestow the blessings of the Goddess upon you. The blessings of the goddess, goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. Luke, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? 
You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, you're holding the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to get to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Luke. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Luke. Now we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Nope. Really? Huh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. You have to jump off the statue. Oh, of course. Look down, see that big round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop right into the center of it. Leap off the edge here, right before you hit the ground, press ZR to open your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? Uh oh, looks like we don't have a choice. Now yeah, let's wait until the last second. Because we're... Whew, that was pretty close to the last second. Oh boy, I see you messed up your landing. Remember, once you dive off the edge, you can control the angle of your fall by tilting your body. I bet you're ready to try again, aren't you? I won't push you this time, so take the leap when you're ready. Just dash off the edge to jump into a dive. Then, just before you hit the ground, press and hold ZR. Oh, and don't forget that you've got to land in the middle of that round design in the courtyard in that courtyard below. Okay, that's... I thought we had it the first time, but oh shoot. There we go. I guess I didn't hold it down the first time, but... That was perfect. You're amazing, Luke. There aren't a lot of people at this ceremony, but... Oh well. You know, Luke, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Luke, hey Luke. Today was amazing, watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. You know, Luke. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Uh oh. What is that? Looks like a tornado of sorts. But. In the sky. Or, I guess, way up in the sky. Ah, Luke! Oh. That didn't work out so well for us. Luke? Uh oh, what's that voice? I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Luke. Oh. 
Uh-oh, we woke up again. Ah, you're awake. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But, Luke, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Hmm. A black tornado, you say? Hmm, that's no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl in her burden in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Luke. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Hmm. Oh, it sounds like we're hearing voices, kind of like Zelda was. Alright, in the next video we're going to be following what can only be assumed was the voice that we heard out our door. So, I'll see you guys then.